Red and Link promote their audio book, Take One of One. We'll be reading all of our responses in the same way that we have read our book. Mm. We also wrote our responses. You can do that. Why should someone listen to our audio book? Well, there's a lot of personal stories, mm -hmm. and we actually tell them. For instance, I had a story, I read it. You had a story, you read I it. I read it. A lot of times you listen to an audio book, and it's just a guy with the English accent reading a story that somebody else came up with. Seriously, I'm excited about the audio book because we are telling stories that are very personal and, um, it, you know, involve our experiences as friends over the years. It was very fun to read our book because I forgot some of what we wrote. <laughs> so I like, as it's we were- a while. As we, yeah, as there was a delay between writing the book because we were overseeing the process of adding visuals to it. It was like, oh yeah. Hey, oh. that's actually funny. Yeah, that's- <laughs> That's, that's actually compelling writing. I'm, I'm having fun reading I this. forgot about that. I would sit down in Rudolph's chair and he would ask me, What'll it be this time? It didn't take long for me to learn that, no matter what I said, Rudolph was going to give me one haircut, the Rudolph. It was a short, simple part. I sported the Rudolph along with nearly every other male in a three mile radius for many years. It never failed me. I was in the 1% of Bowie's Creek males who didn't go to Rudolph. Instead, my mom took me to Cindy the Beautician, who also cut my mom's hair. Like Rudolph, Cindy apparently knew of only one approach to cutting a boy's hair but the outcome was distinctly different. The bowl cut. There were a few times while reading it that I've been moved. You know, I've like put myself back in the, back in the place thinking about some pivotal moments in our, in our past. Yeah, reminiscing. Now I haven't shown that in my voice or my eyes or my face because I don't, you know, I play it real close to the vest, but. Well, it's an audio book, they can't see your face. I've been moved. I've been genuinely moved by this process. The audio version of the Book of Mythicality by no means was an afterthought. I mean, we were always thinking, okay, this is my story, so I'm gonna tell this. This is your story, so you're gonna tell this part of it. And we also brought in a lot of special guests to write parts of the book, and we were very excited from the get-go knowing that we were gonna bring them in to read those parts. We got crew members, we got our wives. Yeah, that's a big one. We even got Miss Lockley. Yeah, the teacher who introduced us in first grade. If you yes. wanna download Red Link's Book of Mythicality, you can go to bookofmythicality.com. You can also go to audible.com and search for Book of Mythicality. I'm betting that we'll be the only book that comes up 